All right, it's time for an update after our November board meeting. I uh, hope everybody survived Halloween. Um, looked like uh, our costume contest here was extremely successful. We had a lot of great contests, a lot of great participation, and the uh, United Way Pumpkin Parade actually so far has already raised more money this year than in previous years. Um, so that's a good thing because remember that the whole point of it is to raise money for United Way, but I must say that there's some fantastic looking pumpkins out there. Every year it almost inspires me to try to make a pumpkin, but um, that hasn't happened yet. Uh, there is still time though to do a payroll deduct, so um, if you'll see one of the U-Crew members, and I think we're going to be scheduling a couple of very brief information sessions later on in the week so that you can have an opportunity to take care of that um, if you have not already done so. Um, at our board meeting this morning, uh, one thing of, of note that many of you may uh, be interested in is that they did approve the fall 2017, spring 2018, and summer 2018 academic calendars. So if you uh, want to look ahead and you know figure out when spring break is and some of those kinds of things, then uh, those calendars will be out on Pathway for you to check out. Um, as always, th there are no new holidays or anything like that that would be um, that we would be getting in the next year. But um, and the the dates for the closure at Christmas and all that are pretty much counted in the standard way. So, but you might want to check out the exact dates. Uh, this next Thursday, we are going to be having our Veterans Day celebration. That's Thursday, November tenth at eleven thirty in the Commons. As you recall, we are going to be closed for Veterans Day starting this year so that all of our students and employees are able to uh, celebrate Veterans Day and to thank the veterans community for their sacrifices and their service and all that they have done for our, for our community and for our nation. Um, but we will have a, um, a very nice Veterans Day ceremony on, on campus the day before the actual real Veterans Day. So that'd be Thursday, November the 10th. That same evening at 7 p.m. at Marshall Auditorium, the Cultural Arts Series will be presenting the Sons of the Pioneers. So I want to give a thank you to Citizens Bank of Clovis, who is our premier sponsor for all of our events and also to Christy and Natalie for what they do to put these events on. It is truly a team effort. Um, the Sons of the Pioneers have been here before. They are a very, very popular group. They're actually probably the great grandsons of the Pioneers, I think. Um, people always ask if they're the original Sons of the Pioneers. I don't know how old that would, they would have to be to be the originals, but they're, they're really good and they've maintained the same integrity in their music as the originals. On Monday, November 21st at 1130 in the Commons, CAB will be sponsoring its annual Thanksgiving lunch. So everyone is invited to attend. It's free. Uh, the food is always fantastic. Baby Jay's does a really good job with this Thanksgiving Day lunch, and I think that it's a very generous move on CAB's part to sponsor this lunch. It's a nice time to get together and have a really great meal and kind of get ready for Thanksgiving. Um, so to speak. Uh, the Thanksgiving break will actually be November the 23rd through November the 27th, so um, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, and I hope that everybody enjoys some much-needed time off, and our students use this much-needed time off to catch up. That's what Thanksgiving break is really all about. It's about catching up on all of your homework that you have not been doing the whole semester or that's gotten ahead of you, and you have to use that time to just dig in, you know, like that prairie dog that we had where he was digging in in the dirt. That's why I like the prairie dog thing. It, it, it's emblematic of grit. So that's what you have to use this time for. It's like the last ditch effort to get everything ready so you can, you know, finish off with a great semester. Um, one other thing I want to mention and give kudos to our marketing team. Um, they recently attended the uh, National Council for Marketing and Public Relations, I don't know that I've ever gotten that right before, um, association that they, which is um, a regional, a national association for uh, marketing and public relations professionals, and they cleaned up in the awards category. So first of all, Natalie organizes the conference in Santa Fe, which, you know, is no mean feat since these things are always a bigger job than what you think they're going to be. And then uh, we walk away with four awards. So we won three silver awards, one for an edition of the CCC Connections, 
one for our display ad at the North Plains Mall, um, another for the uh, CTI video that we produced, and then what's the fourth one? And then we won a gold for a video for a radio spot called Opportunity Knox, starring Kate Franz. Hey there, it's me, Opportunity. And so Kate got to wear the medal and be publicly embarrassed by Scott at the awards ceremony, um, which you know is partly what winning an award's all about, I think. But anyway, it's really nice uh, for them to get this recognition. I think that we've really been doing a great job and really trying to come up with some new ideas and some new ways to reach out to students and connect us to our community. And they've been publicly uh, Public shame always comes to mind right away. <laughs> Publicly applauded for all of their hard work and recognized by a group of professionals that um, really do understand quality in, in this line of work. So congratulations to everyone, to Scott, uh, Scott Knauer, Natalie Daggett, Kate Franz, um, and also to uh, Adi Garcia for all their work and all this. Um, so hang in there till Thanksgiving. It's just around the corner. Um, you know, once we get to this point in the semester, we'll have a couple of, uh, we'll have nurses pinning to talk about and our very first physical therapist assistant pinning to talk about uh, next time. But um, hang in there, um, help our students in any way you can. They don't have too much longer to get through this next semester, but this gets to be a critical time. So for all of us, really, this is the time when students start to go crazy and everybody starts to just kind of come apart. Um, if there's anything that I can do to help you, anything I can do to help make your job easier, please let me know. And again, as I said to the faculty when we met the other day, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Um, a lot of the best ideas that we hear and some of the greatest things that we do, they come from all different areas. So don't be afraid to come see me if you think you have some kind of a great idea.